Hey Aquarius Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. All right, let's get into this week ahead for the Aquarius Collective. What does this week look like for you all? Interesting because I'm seeing your energy all over your reading. You feel good this week. You feel real good. I like it. We have expect the unexpected. This is very much Aquarius energy. This is the fool. Something spontaneous is coming your way this weekend. It could involve a child. I'm seeing a child here. Or it could involve you feeling like a child. Okay, this is new beginnings. Taking a leap of faith, taking a risk this week. Okay, you feel very fearless, carefree. I love it. We have happiness. So you're going to feel happy this week. And we have you find, you can find all the answers within. High Priestess Energy. Cancer Pisces. Some of you could be an Aquarius Pisces, guys. It says nature is all you need. Some of you need to spend time outside in nature this week. Go for a walk at the park. Go for a walk around your neighborhood. Go play outside with the kids, the dog, whatever. Be near water. There's water here. This has a lot to do with your emotions. You feel good this week. I love it for you. We have obsession. Focusing too much on a situ on one situation. The need to take a step back. I feel like this week you do. All right. This could be somebody obsessed with you. I always feel somebody in your energy, an ex lingering around, always trying to prevent you from moving forward. But this week they ain't gonna succeed because we have you spreading your wings. Again, the fool taking a leap of faith, a risk, a new beginning, a new opportunity here. Confidence that leads to freedom and growth. So you're setting yourself free this week. You're doing something maybe out of the norm for you. You're a fixed sign. I'm a fixed sign. I know we don't like to do things out of the norm. <laughs> Even though Aquarians are um, free-spirited, you, st you still are a fixed sign. So you'll do things, but you still want it to make some kind of sense. <laughs> we have self-awareness. Wow. Tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns. You've learned a lesson. And I just heard you heard, you learned a lesson the hard way. This is Scorpio energy. This is judgment energy. This is that moment where all your past choices are being judged, judged by you, not anyone else. Your higher self gets activated. So you start to look at your choices. You start to look at the things that you've been doing, the decisions you've been making. And you say, you know what? Do I want to be this way moving forward or do I want to change? Okay, so that's what this week is about for you. Starting to reevaluate some of your um, decisions in the past and behaviors in the past. It's about self-awareness and self-evaluation and assessing. So that's what you're doing this week. You're contemplating which way am I going moving forward. You know the past is behind you and you have to leave it there. Some kind of big manifestation is coming in for you. More Aquarius energy. This is like the star for me. It says law of attraction, thoughts become things. I feel like you are definitely, um, or Gemini or Virgo could be involved in some capacity, Scorpio or another Aquarius here, Capricorn as well. But um, I'm seeing Leo too and Cancer Pisces. Okay, but yeah, this manifestation, the card of manifestation is really the magician card, but I feel like this is the star. I feel like you're um, healing. You're feeling optimistic again. I'm telling you, somebody's been trying to block you from moving forward. I feel like it's a masculine. Masculine doesn't mean man. It's just the more dominant person in the relationship. But um, like the person who usually has the more of the control, they are more of the, um, the dominant. Okay, you're more the submissive. Let's get into spread your wings. What are you spreading your wings with? And the high priestess. <laughs> you got it coming out again with the tennis horse. Yeah, there's a painful ending here, but look. Look at these insults. It says trash. You are just crazy. Shut up. Stop boring me. Stupid and so ugly. You can't do anything. Why are you so lazy? Worthless and you will never get it. This is a Gemini for some of you, Cancer or a Pisces. We have uh, February the 10th could be significant, another Aquarius, or October the 2nd, a Libra. The 2nd or the 10th of the month could be significant, or the number is 2 or 10. That could be your child's age. It could be anything, all right? Um, yeah, but I feel like what's, what's happening here is that it's crazy how <laughs> you see these blinds here, right? And it almost looks like the same 
image here, but these are the messages that this person is reading online. Some of you are dealing with someone who is verbally abusive to you, or this is the way they made you feel about yourself. This is a very painful ending. This is toxicity. This is actually like a curse, okay? So some of you, what you need to realize is this is like spiritual warfare that you were dealing with. Someone extremely toxic, and this is why you're spreading your wings and moving right away from this person because they come from the pits of hell. I'm just going to keep it real with you. They do. But that's you accepting that something is over. And I love that for you. You're listening to your intuition this week. And knowing that it's time for you to move forward. Something's had a dead end, okay? Somebody could also be hitting a, a rock bottom in an addiction. <clears throat> so I don't know if that's you or someone around you. Show me self-awareness. Page of Swords, yes. Libra Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody could be watching you. Bob of Wands, I told you, somebody like to argue with you. This person could be watching you. This is what you're thinking about. The fact that you engaged way too long with this person. Notice he's keeping the drama up. This person's never going to change. Could be a Leo. And then this is you making your way away from the drama. The Page of Swords is very calculating, okay? Very strategic, solution-based person. A person who's looking at the fine print, getting all the details. Paying attention to the, to the details and realizing, you know what? I am not going to allow you to bait me into your mess. I'm going to go the other way. I feel like that's you. You could be younger than your person. Again, they could be a Leo. Show me um, manifestation. What's manifesting for you this week? Ace of Swords, clarity. Yes, seeing through the bullcrap, moving forward with your life, truth, integrity. You've made a final decision. The sword is down in the ground. You have already made your decision. And then we have the Page of Cups. Oh, wow. This could be somebody tr trying to apologize to you. Okay, and somebody see Scorpio. Could be a Libra, Christ, a Gemini as well. There could be some kind of truthful um, confession coming in from someone. But I feel like a lot of you, you have a fresh perspective. You're seeing this through brand new eyes. You're very clear that you need to move forward with your life. You could be focusing on your child right now or children. Obsession is the star. The star came out anyway. I said I saw a manifestation as the star. This is you, your own major arcana, the seven, the number 17. So you could be born on the 17th of the month. There could be a Sagittarius interested in you. Strong Sagittarius. You could work with this person. They could be hardworking. Somebody is a business owner about to start a business. Or you could be pregnant. Um or may go on to become pregnant. But yeah, this is you and your major arcana. This is about you healing and being optimistic and moving forward. So this week you feel very empowered, very strong, very happy. You're up for the challenge of what I just heard. Let's get a love message for the Aquarius Collective. What's coming in love? Somebody could be offering you an apology. Something truthful, something small, but you know. <laughs> you understand all the answers are within you. And you got the high priestess. You started with the message. You can find all the answers within. That is what the high priestess is. You have that inner knowing, intuition, subconscious mind telling you what you need to do moving forward. Okay, so trust your instincts this week. Can I just get one card, please? A love card for Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit. We have victim. Giving up your power, being tricked, and regain control. See, this is what you're leaving behind. A trickster, which is Aquarius energy. Some of y'all are dealing with another Aquarius. You can also be dealing with a Gemini. This is an air sign. Somebody likes to play mind games with you, but you're regaining control and power this week because you're self-aware. You're spreading your wings and you're moving forward. I love it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.